they just, I've never heard anybody talk on this. No one. Really? I think, I think I may have just stumbled across it like, like, uh, not like the light bulb because it took Jefferson, or what's his name, uh, a thousand tries, right? Right, right, right. It right. took him a thousand tries to, <laughs> to finally come up with light. But I may have stumbled across something that I have not heard anyone mention because it's it could be a very detailed metric that that may not even be accurate. You know? Right, right. I don't know, but. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to explain. You got a few minutes? I can explain to you. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. I'm excited. Tell me. Mm -hmm. I've been okay. waiting, waiting for this all day. You sent me that text earlier today. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, well, give me a quick second. Second, I'm I'm finishing a ice cream sandwich real quick. Oh man, that sounds good right now. <laughs> It is. It's hot out here, so I decided to give me a little something cool. <laughs> you gotta I'm find. Hmm? You gotta find some way to spend all that money, right? Get some ice cream sandwich or something. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, my brother. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> every every bull run, I noticed that. For the bull run of 2013, mm -hmm. Bitcoin peaked in the month of in the month of December. Okay. And that was on the the eighth eighth day of December. Okay. What I noticed about the peak for 2017, it was on the 17th of December. Okay. For twenty seven for twenty seventeen. <laughs> when you take the you know how you have on trading view you have the Fibonacci extensions of the, um you have the different forms of Fibonacci. You could use circular Fibonacci, you could use the regular Fib Fibonacci lines. Yes. <laughs> you have different forms of Fibonacci to to put on numbers to see what is the approximation of a high or a low or a long-term projection price. That's what Fibonacci is used for, right? Right, yeah. Well, when you take those dates for the 8th <coughs> and the 17th, when you plot those on, for 2021, you plot the 8th, you plot the 17th, you take uh, the Fibonacci that's called, I'll tell you what it's called. I, um, I think it's called the, um, the uh, I'd have to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring it up right now. Give me a quick second. I don't know what it's called. I have to look it up. <clears throat> okay, so it's called the... It's called the Fib Time Zone. So it's called the Fib Time Zone. Mm -hmm. So when you put that Fib Time Zone right on the 8th of December, okay. and the next extension time zone, guess what day it is? What? The 17th. Hmm. And the day after the 17th is, I think, December 20-something. So I may have just stumbled across a possible peak using Fibonacci for 2021. Dude, I have not heard anybody talk about this. Hmm. This is now look, so look, I'm going to send you a picture so you can see what I'm talking about because it's kind of hard 
to explain it. Let me see if I have. I think I saved it. So this uh, is this is Big Lou Analytics. Huh? So this is your personal analytics, right? So what this means? Yeah, this is my own metrics. This is something that 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 I basically just stumbled across, just researching. I haven't heard anybody else talk about this. Wow. Um. I know I saved it. Oh, it's on the BLX. That's that's where it is. Okay, I got it right here. All right, so I'm gonna screenshot this so you can see. Okay. You, you'll appreciate it a little bit more if I screenshot it. All right, I'm gonna send it to you right now. So you don't think that it's going to roll over in 2022, quarter one? Well, if this is correct, Brian, we're, we're, we're looking at a possible... Um, we're looking at a possible date of... December 21. Isn't that funny? Wow. That is funny. On December 21 of 2021 is the possible peak for Bitcoin. That would be so, like, unbelievable if that would be the, if that would be the case. So did, did, did you get so? Yeah, I see that. I see that. You see, see the, okay, so let me, okay. The bean band is represented by that red line and that green line. You see how they curve up? Yeah. Okay, that's the bean band. So the bean band is right there already. You see it in the grayish color? Yeah. If the bean band were to continue moving in the direction that it's moving, uh, possibly, this is just possible, it will peak out like it will in uh, the January 1st, 2022, if, if this were, if this were the, the case, uh, you you probably be looking at a Bitcoin price of um, maybe three hundred seventy five thousand, close to four hundred thousand. Right. So wow. when you look when, look at look at the first the first yellow line vertical is on the eighth. If you it, you can't see it because you know, uh, but the first line is December the eighth. The second line is December the 17th. Those are the two dates in the previous bull runs where Bitcoin peaked out at. So in 2013, Bitcoin, Bitcoin peaked out on December the 8th, the first yellow line. Mm -hmm. on, the, on December 2017, Bitcoin peaked out on the second yellow line to the right vertical, which is December 17th. And when you put, when you plot, a time zone fib, a fib time zone on the 8th, December the 8th, and you go to the next key date, which would be the 17th, the next perfect date is December 21st. Watch, I'm going to show you. I'm going to, I'm going to do the time zone, then I'm going to take a picture for it and send it to you so you see, I'll see what I mean. You have to see it to understand what it is that I'm trying to what I'm trying to explain. I think you're on to something, see. man. You're on to something. Maybe I, I I don't know. I mean, this may be, and I'm not good with this kind of stuff. I, I'll tell you right now, this is not my kind of stuff. Okay, let me see. Um, where is this time zone? Time fit zone. Uh, let's see, time fits. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it right here on the 8th. I'm going to extend it. The next date, wait, my bad. Yes, the next date will be the 17th. Bingo. And watch what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this a little bit wider so you can see how the time zone works.
okay. Alright, so I just sent it to you. Let me know when you get it. Alright. Alright, I'm getting it right now, downloading. You're looking at it? Yep. Okay. You see. You see, uh. The, okay, so the, the three vertical lines used to be yellow, but I marked over them both with the time, with the fifth time zone. So you see where it says um, the first vertical line is number zero? Yeah. Okay. The, the second vertical line is number one, right? And then the third the third vertical line is number number two. Yeah. Okay. So the the the, the the fifth time zone, when you put it on the 12th of, Dece uh, of December, the next target, supposedly, I'm, tr I'm trying to see if there's a connection here. The next target you laid over the 17th of December, which is the second vertical line for the 17th of December. And dude, the next line falls beautifully on with the, the, the date of the date of the 26th it's the 26th not the 21st my bad so the the third uh, fifth time zone falls on the 26th of December but look how beautifully they 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 fall so the first eighth of December when I when I bring that time zone over into the 17th look how beautifully it, it, it overlaps for the for the third time zone to be on the 26th of December so if this is going by a time a fifth time zone we we could possibly this is why people are saying we could see a little longer, not because of this, maybe because of other metrics, because I have not seen anybody use the fifth time zone like this. But if they are, I don't see why. I, I, I just haven't seen them explain it like this. They're probably using some other key metrics. Anyhow, that's why many are probably saying that we're going to go a little bit longer into the 2021 uh, first quarter period. If this is the case, uh, Brian, if this is the case, it would make sense that because whenever we reach the peak of Bitcoin, alts run for at least about a month. So if we are going to peak on the 26th of December, that means we will have the alts running all the way through January 26th. Mm. So interesting. Very interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. And 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 the way and and what makes this somewhat compelling is the Fibonacci time zone. Well, here's because another. Like I said, uh -huh. here's another question, right? In right. 2013, did the alts pump January 2014 also? Because that's a pattern too. Uh, did the oh um yeah they did but they only pumped because look <clears throat> when Bitcoin peaked out in December eighth the alts I think in the twenty fourteen altcoin peak I think I think um and that's why I have these lines here to represent those things I'm glad you said that um, okay so when you look at 
it's going to be a little bit hard to see. But what we have here is the first week of January is where all coins peaked out because Bitcoin reached the peak date of December the 8th for the 2013 bull run. So December the 8th, January the 8th, Bitcoin's peaked out. Actually, it was January the 5th. It was January 5th where Bit, where all coins peaked out for the 20... I'm sorry, no. It was January 5th for the uh, of 2018 for the second Bitcoin bull run. The first Bitcoin bull run, all coins peaked out. Uh, I don't know exactly what date. I have to look at it. I don't, I don't, I don't have enough information on the altcoin uh, chart to show me where the altcoins peaked out for the 2014 January date. But anyhow, what we do know is that Bitcoin peaked out December the 8th in 2013. Makes me more bullish on Bitcoin peaking out in December rather than Bitcoin peaking out in October. So, in your opinion, when Bitcoin peaks out, don't even touch your alts. It's like the calm before the storm. Oh, no, brother. Oh, no. You'd be making... Well, you, you should follow your exits. So, if your exits are hitting when Bitcoin is peaking out, yes, take your exits. But you want to leave those higher exits for that month. Or three weeks time period where all coins are going to explode after Bitcoin peaks. Right. But that's yeah. that's where you're going to have to be extremely cautious because we 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 say all coins are going to take a month to peak out after Bitcoin peaks out because that's what we've seen in the last bull runs, right? Yeah. But what's to say they don't shorten that to three weeks or two yeah. weeks? Right. So Bitcoin peaks out. December 26th, uh, instead of all coins running all the way to January 26th, they run to January 15th or January 12th. Yeah. So you don't want to risk that last run of the race by risking a higher percentage gain of your of, of your portfolio. My you question is extremely cautious. My question is, do you think when people sell off Ken, it's going to just sell off overnight, or it's going to take about two to three weeks for it to trickle down. It's you know, going to do like the last previous bull, like the last pre previous sell offs. It's going to be, it's going to be hard. Steep, uh, the huh? first the, off that first look when when the big money starts to sell off their altcoin portfolios right under everybody else. Everybody else is going to be thinking, man, we're going to Mars, man. We're going to Mars. This ain't never going to finish. We're just tight. We run and run and like, like, <laughs> like, uh, like the marathon runners in, 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 you know, in the Olympics. This is it. This is it. We got, we're, we, we're, we're running like the stallions, man. We're running like the, uh, like those horses that they use for the Bush commercials, right? Those massive big horses. Yeah. There ain't no stopping us. That's going to be the, that's going to be the fatal, uh, the fatal hit that many people aren't going to see, and that's where big money's going to say, "Now we sell. Now we get. Now we get all of our money back. Now we get all of our our gains. We're going to sell it to everybody else." And so. That cliff, uh, you're going to be slaughtered, brother. So put it this way. If you own $100,000 worth of kin at the peak, and we, let's say, let's say all coins sell off the third week of January of 2022. Yeah. And you're holding $100,000 worth of kin. Brother, once that sell off starts. Yeah. At, in one week's time, you could be down to $25,000 worth of kid. Wow. So you could possibly lose 75% of your portfolio in a matter of 
States. So let me ask you this question. Like, I'm really tr that's what I'm trying to tell people, like that um, that are starting to invest. I'm like, why you got like 20 coins and you don't even have an exit strategy? You should just put everything in Ken. At least you got somebody like Big Lou who's telling you exit first at 0 0.003. But do you agree with me that these guys that have about 30 coins and I ask them, do you have an exit plan? They tell me no. Do you think they're going to get wrecked? I think they will. They're not going to well, sell. If they, if, they don't, if they don't have an exit strategy, <clears throat> um, they're going to get, if they are, are not aware of the time frame that we're working on in this bull run, if they are not aware, brother, uh, they are going to forfeit their wealth. Yeah. They're going to forfeit their wealth. Yes. They're gonna get they're gonna get wrecked, and I, I'm gonna be like I tried telling them. But you know what? Most of them are gonna get wrecked because none of, most of them don't even have kin. <laughs> and I said, okay, okay, you buying these coins, but what's your exit target? Uh, I don't know. See, some of them don't want to listen to me because they think I don't know anything. At least I know something. <laughs> Got something in his brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, man, but yeah, that's why I said like I sold all my Solana. I put it all in. Kin. You know?